welcome to the adventures of Pagan and... Get in tears! And here we are in our zombie sanctuary. Decided to make a compromise. We did keep um, this playthrough, even though there was that uh, little bug with the server crash that rolled back our days to day one. Uh, we simply didn't reinforce the structure any more than it was before the rollback because we were at day six so we just didn't reinforce our structure to make it fair we did loot some of the houses nearby do a little minor decorating to our flop house in the church here um, but that's the best compromise I could come up with I really didn't want to start another playthrough so tried not to take any uh, undue advantage although you know had to do some did loot some houses didn't really get anything too spectacular though. So, just so you can see, it's still pretty much the same outside, same amount of spikes, balconies finished. The only thing I did do is add some lighting, and I will add some more lighting out here as well. So, and today is day six. So, usually when it's day six, the dogs will come, and we did hear some of them attacking the house last night, which could be a lot of what these big meat blobs are. Yeah, we do have some meat mounds going on here. There was some yeah. minor attacks in the night. Oh! Uh -oh. Ah. Be careful. But, um, yep, so this is one of the... After most nights, and certainly any of these seven-day nights, you gotta spend a little time doing zombie meat cleanup, I'm afraid. Yeah. You could leave them here, but, um... It, Gives the zombies something they can actually stand on, get up to higher levels of your building. Just gonna check some of these spikes, just make sure I'm not okay. okay. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Alright. Yeah, I think we got quite a bit. So let's raid another house or two, just for the heck of it. And we'll just need to make sure that we, uh, Keep cautious, because again, there could be dogs today. There could be dogs. Let me just get this little meat mound over here. Alright, so we were working on the other block. We had finished looting all the houses in this block. Something like that. I think so. No, we did. Okay. Oh, another meat mound came back on. Sure, where we got. We went around there. There we go. It's okay. either this house or its neighbor over here. I think we went in that one though. In the corner, this tall one. Yes, I do believe we've looted that house and that we're gonna be circling around on the second block here. Trying to find you. Keep it coming. There you are. <sighs> so I believe this light. Hey, see. I believe this light green one, the mint green one we've um, was the one we were just in. Probably. But easy enough to tell. Just bust down the door, have a look inside. I believe we came in through the front, so. Yeah. Gotta find out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're going this way, circling this we way. We got the AC? Yep, yep we did. Okay, good. Alright. I'm just gonna make sure that I keep our eyes out for dogs. Always freak up with dogs. Well, the dogs are deadly. Yeah. And they will come after you biting. Yeah, you'll notice on my toolbars that um, item with the yellow quality is a repair tool. Uh, basically, it's a tool used to repair things, to uh, enhance them or upgrade them. Um, so, the same function that you can also use the stone axe for. However, you can't really use the repair tool to break things. So, it's only for upgrading, but it upgrades things quicker with less uh, hits or ticks 
than the stone axe does. And better than that would be the claw hammer, uh, which does it in even less uh, hits per upgrade. And after that would be the nail gun, which I never even had one, so I couldn't really tell you how good it is, but... Boy, those fridges are loud sometimes. They are. Sometimes you can hear them outside the house. Although, how they're running, I do not know. It's uh, kind of odd. I never really thought of that, but... Yeah, I'm not sure how Ooh, look what I found! Look what I found! A mining helmet! Mining helmet. Mining helmet's yeah. super useful. They're not the best head armor, but, I mean, to have a light, you can... Uh, you can use whenever you want on your head um, that you don't have to carry on your toolbar or in your hand yeah. is awesome. Later on you can get flashlights that you can attach to uh, firearms when you build them, but I find the light from the mining helmet is the best. Awesome. Congrats. That's good. That's a good thing to have. You know I haven't been finding too much of? Um, pain pills. <laughs> No, we get like three or so in the house, yeah. but... Usually when I... I mean, I always seem to like find tons of them, but I don't know. Maybe just around here. Well, don't forget, in our last few playthroughs, we pretty much have spawned um, next to some of those pup and pill stores. Yeah. So, pretty easy to get pain pills when you're next to a uh, abandoned pharmacy. those toilets. Just be sure you fill any, uh... Oh, helmet. Look what I got for you, babe. Awesome. Another one. Here we go. Where are you at? I'm dropping it right now. In this room. Kitten Tears has just made life very good. All okay, right. now what about shades? Do you have sunglasses? I do not know, but I need to try and repair this with some metal strips. I don't have many of them, but anything will do. Uh, yeah, I think I'm wearing goggles, but what kind of sunglasses do you have? Okay, I, I have, um, I have goggles, too. Do you need another, um, pipe? Yeah, if you get a metal pipe, yeah, I want to try and repair Go. this so it's not... Just dropped it for you. And that's one of the importance of metal pipes, why I keep smashing the toilets, is, uh, metal pipes break down into metal strips. Which are the basic component used to repair all of your uh, mid-level game stuff, all your iron. Um, it's just super important to have metal strips or short metal pipes. Later when you can forge ingots, you can break those down and then break them down further until they are metal strips, but when you don't have that ability... Yay! Alright. Okay, so as you can see now, I can just go like that and... This just makes, in these dark houses, looting them down in the basements and the attics and soon-to-be flooded basements, um, mm -hmm. you just, you need a light source. And for mining, of course, what else <laughs> would a mining helmet be perfect for but for mining? Which we could probably do. Don't we have a beaker now? No. We don't have a beaker yet. Um, Dang. But as soon as we do, we'll be able to mine. We can get, um the ingredients to make antibiotics, which will cure some of our infections. I don't know about the dysentery I had, which by <laughs> the way, I died of. Uh, I did die of that yeah. dysentery when I was super infected last time you saw me. I, um, yeah, so I eventually perished. I pooped myself to death. <laughs> Apparently. That's how I'm imagining it, while I rotted from zombie fever. Pretty much. Oh boy. It is so great to have the mining helmet this early in the game. Sometimes you can't create the mining helmet. Although I think they're going to add the ability to create it using headlights maybe. That'd be awesome if they did. That but that would be great. Right. Or at least maybe even just add an attachment to any helmet. That'd be super awesome. But in any case, currently it's something you can only find. So Alright. Let's uh, keep on looting there. Kitten Tiaz? 
I'm just repairing some of my stuff real quick. Hi. There we go. It's very important to repair stuff. Yep, you want to keep on top of that. Um, you'll yep. find that your helmets especially will break rather quickly. Mm-hmm. So smash those toilets, everyone. Smash them good. Also, lose those air conditioners. Yes, air conditioners are another great source of the. <laughs> short metal pipe. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Here's some zombie activity starting to heat up. Yes, so I've been collecting all these couch pieces just because um, this right now we're pretty short on wood, and um, couch pieces burn rather nicely as a fuel for your uh, cook fires or your forges. Not that we have a forge, but, you know, if we did. Sometimes you'll find these chests actually in the houses. Never really find anything good in them, sadly. You would think. You would think. Antibiotics. Yay! They uh, seem fairly rare at this point, unless you find one of the um, pharmacies, or you can craft them if you get the right um, materials for mining. I think it's potassium nitrate. You uh, mix with moldy bread in a beaker and get yourself some antibiotics. Mm -hmm. I was gonna smash that toilet, but that's fine. Toilet thief. Yeah. Ah, oh, addicts. So nice. So nice when you have <laughs> the ability to see. So much better. We've got a decent amount of coffee beans we found now. We might want to start producing some coffee, perhaps. Coffee is very useful in this game. You can make it. It gives you a uh, boost to your stamina regen, so it allows you to run a lot more if you need to do a lot of running or fighting or mining. So very useful. It does, however, coffee will very minorly. I think like point one, take point one away from your wellness. So, massive coffee binging will, I guess, reduce your permanent uh, health and stamina cap. Yeah. But, you know, the other foods you eat balance that out uh, by giving you enough wellness that if you're pretty moderate with the coffee, you'll be alright. You'll be alright. Beer and grain oak also have a very similar purpose. Been very quiet. Shh. Don't chase us. Mm, cat food. Okay. I'm finding a lot of iron reinforced clubs fairly early in the game and a lot of coffee for sure. Jeez, we must have 20 some odd coffee beans at the house now, or piles of coffee. Awesome. 
possibly. Football helmet, uh, another helmet you can only find. Pretty good to get early level, certainly. Um, but I'm gonna stick to my mining helmet. I will sacrifice the protection. Later on when I can make iron helmets, I'll usually maybe just keep the mining helmet on me. Switch it out for the right occasions. Well, filled up quickly. You can also scrap things, I think I mentioned directly from the containers. Um, that way if you have a pile of scrap metal on you, uh, easier. Get rid of lots of the stuff actually. Scrapping books turns them into paper. Paper's useful, you use it to make shotgun shells. And since I love the shotgun, um, definitely try and save my paper. Just make sure those books you're scrapping aren't recipes. Or, yeah. you know, some of them look like uh, schematics and some of them actually look like books. Just be aware of that. Keep that helmet on me, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I'd love to be scrapping even those um, desks and file cabinets, breaking them down for the iron, but just not going to try it with these stone tools. Do you already take care of the attic, yes? Yeah. Alright, so this house should pretty much be done. Didn't mean to pick up that chair, but... What else? Alright. So, there's actually only one house left on this block, maybe? Or two? Wow, that is some weird placement. One. Oops. See if we can do one more before we end this video. We know we went in that one. But did we go in this one? We might have finished the second block. Uh, yeah, we did. Alright, so we've searched every house in the block where our church is, and the block next to it. So, time to go home and call it a night for this episode. Alright everyone, that's going to be it for this episode of The Adventures of Pagan and... Kitten Tears! We will see you next time, probably with a zombie horde. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Bye.